you know, this is this is for beginners, just to get some people interested to realize just how easy it is to turn a simple motor into a generator in certain emergencies or whatever. A lot of people really don't know this. So if you're an expert in quantum physics, okay, you know, you don't have to find anything in this video impressive, but you know, not everybody is at your level, okay? But don't you want them to help with this pollution problem? Because the more people that are into alternative energy, the better our chances are for achieving it. Okay, because the powers that be, they're not gonna help you. Not one bit. They're raking in the money selling you energy. So they're not gonna help you find alternative sources. Not one bit. So the more people we can get interested, the better. And just think, once you achieve free clean energy, even if you can't patent it, you can power and heat your home for free. Now this is just a regular DC motor. A lot of people really don't know this, but the motor is basically magnets and copper wire coils. When electricity goes to the coils, it creates an electrical field, which becomes an electric magnet, and the magnets repel each other. It kind of looks more like this, a bunch of magnets on a rotor. The magnetic field spinning past the coils creates electricity in the coils, which is usable. However, if you're feeding electricity into the coils, then the magnets start to spin, and it spins the motor shaft. So, if you feed electricity into the motor, the motor will spin. But, if you spin the motor by hand, it creates electricity, which comes out of the wires, like a generator. Now, think of all the ways you can get that thing to spin. Use your imagination. I know it's taboo and forbidden in school, but you know what? We're going to break the rules sometime, okay? Shh. The thought police aren't looking. Figuring out how to get that to turn is half the fun, but even though I show a bicycle in my cartoon, that's probably the last way you want to try. Unless you need the exercise, which is good for you. But for long-term needs, I would try a 20-ton bottle jack for like 30 bucks and jack up a couple of tons of weight and rig it to some kind of geared down apparatus where it will spin this thing as the weight slowly comes back down. You should spin it for a couple of hours if you rig it right. Take you all of 10 minutes to jack it up. Come on, I know you can do it. Now you can do the same thing with a heavy duty spring, coil spring that will retain the energy instead of carrying all that weight around with you if you want to go mobile. And of course you can use wind power or water power if you're camping, but uh, they try to tell you you can't do that anymore because they want to protect the fish. I think we all know they don't care about you or the fish. And hey, I didn't give them that reputation, okay? But do what you can. And if you see people down here posting things, or quoting the second lie of thermodynamics, well just remember, he's disinfo and he's on the power company payroll. So don't listen to him. It's as simple as that. Tesla said you can make free electricity all day long, and you still use his alternating current coming out of your wall today. Good luck and God bless.